want to know why you are constantly stressed out and anxious? Now, while there are many contributors to feeling this way, I bet, I bet one of those things and a big part of that is that you don't slow down. When we don't slow down, life zooms by every day, zooms by, things zoom by, events you look forward to are just gone in a blink of an eye, and you don't take the time to slow down and enjoy each and every moment, which robs you of your inner peace and joy. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to teach you how to build a more fulfilling and loving and happier life with a dash of spirituality. And today, I'm going to take you through a day of slowing down and self-care. Now, you should really aim to do one of these self-care days once a week. I know that's not super realistic, so if you can't do it once a week, try every other week or even at minimum once a month. That's part of my self-care right there, my little kitty cat. <laughs> now, I often plan out my self-care day where I know I don't want to hang out with anyone, I'm not going to plan any phone calls with anyone, it's just a day for me to be to me. And obviously your self-care is going to look a little different than what mine does based off of what brings you joy. But I'm going to take you through some things that I do on my self-care days. And I do want to say, I typically start these the night before by cleaning. And that's my number one tip is to clean and declutter your space so that everything feels just nice and fresh when you wake up in the morning. And that's kind of going to be your first step. And if you don't want to do that, I highly suggest doing it first thing in the morning when you wake up before you start doing whatever it is that makes you happy. My second tip is if you have a furry friend to grab them and hang out with them because they bring us so, so, so much love. This is Sassy. I know you've seen her in a few videos before. And before we get any further into today's video, I do want to thank this video's sponsor, which is slightworldoutdoor.com. I'll put it right across the screen here. Guys, whether you travel or not, if you need some kind of backpack or handbag or satchel, if you're into those or the fanny packs or anything like that, I have found, I think, my favorite freaking backpack. Like, I'm not just saying that. Like, I was so freaking stoked when I got this. So, this is their regular backpack. This is the one that I liked the most. Now, obviously, it does buckle shut. So, what I did today is put a lot of my self-care items in here to show you, one, how amazing this backpack is, and two, because it works for this video. Duh. So, Obviously, one of the things I do for self-care is wear a nice comfy robe. I like to feel very feminine when I go through a self-care day. So it kind of depends on like, if maybe for you it's wearing sweats. Um, I also like to do my makeup. It just makes me feel more in my space and feminine and that's why I really enjoy it. And a lot of times I also, like, I'm not a big makeup person, but I like to play around with some makeup, which is what I did today with this darker color. It's a little darker than what I'm used to, but I like it. I like it. Um, and a lot of times I do go tanning as well, but I'm in the middle of going through laser hair removal, so you can't have fake tan during that, so excuse my ghostliness. <laughs> Much like most days for myself, a self-care day for me, and I would highly suggest for you, get some type of movement in. So the first item I have in here are my sneakers. So obviously this can mean so many different things for you, whether you want to do an at-home workout, you just want to go for a walk, you want to go lift weights, maybe go to a fun Zumba class, do yoga, whatever it is for you. It's a great way to start off your day and get those endorphins going so you're feeling good throughout the rest of your self-care day. Obviously, self-care means no bras for us women, but I had to be a little YouTube friendly tonight, so, you know, you just have to do it. By the way, this, um, this robe is from adoredbyme.com. It's not sponsored in this video, but I do love this robe so much. It's 
amazing. In addition to planning your cleaning the night before, another thing that you should probably plan ahead of time is don't wake up to an alarm clock. Don't wake up to an alarm clock. Just wake up when you want to wake up. So for that, I have packed my nice little, I love this thing. If you guys don't wear them, I don't wear it every night, but it's silky and it just feels so good and it's adjustable so you can adjust it to your head size. So just sleep in, enjoy the morning. Um, when I get up, of course, I do have my more five minute morning routine that I did post for you guys a few weeks ago. I will link that in the description below and in the cards up top here. And once I do that, I hit the gym or I go to yoga, whatever I feel like doing that day. And I come home, I do my makeup, I put my robe on. And of course, you have to light a candle. It's part of the ambiance, you know? So you have to do that. Mm. This one's a Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. I'm a big Bath & Body Works fan. I love Bath & Body Works candles and lotions and all that stuff, which leads me to taking either a nice hot shower where you're not rushed or a nice bath. If you do have a bathtub, what I like to do is set up a candle in the bath and I have some fairy lights I put on in my room, put on some meditation, just calm, sometimes piano music and just relax. And sometimes I also added a bath bomb and a face mask, which I don't have any right now because I just used my last one like a week or two ago. Just do something that is going to make you feel calm and relaxed. A lot of times I will sit right on this rug I'm sitting on now and meditate or lie down in bed and meditate if I don't feel like sitting up. Like this day of self-care is all about you. And if you're thinking, well, okay, Sarah, but I don't really like to do those things. You want to think about the things that make you feel good. That's the bottom line. Do you like to do arts and crafts? If you can see behind me here, those are some of my vision boards up there. I love doing arts and crafts and I don't do them very often. So sometimes on self-care days, I will do some kind of art, craft, painting, coloring, whatever. Like I feel like doing that day, I'll just head over to Michael's and grab something that's fun and uh, just kind of go at it. There's no structure. There's no structure to a self-care day, okay? I'm just here giving you ideas. But if you want to come up with more ideas for yourself, just think about what makes you happy. Sometimes my self-care days are laying in bed and binging Netflix and eating snacks. And that, so this also has these two front pouches here. And then there we have some snacks, some snacks, and particularly chocolates. I love these evolved chocolate bars. They're completely paleo and I love their, their catchphrase, chocolate, it's food not candy. This one is the milk chocolate oat milk cookie dough and I highly suggest it if you've never had this brand and you want to stay healthier. Um, a big thing for me on my self-care days is you know when you eat crappy food and you just feel like shit? Okay, I like to nourish my body on self-care days, eat healthy things, fruits, vegetables, smoothies, cook myself a nice meal if I feel like it and if you don't feel like it, Maybe a self-care day for you is ordering out. That's the beauty of this. You just change it to whatever you're looking for. Next, of course, you can't forget the journaling. I love journaling. It is this is my, I just started journaling like less than two years ago. And this is my fifth one, I think. Game freaking changer. Just journal whatever you feel like journaling about. And if you don't know, just YouTube or Google journal prompts and you'll be surprised on what comes out. And if you're interested in a specific video for how to journal or journaling to get the most out of it, just let me know in the comments below and I will make a video specifically for journaling because I have totally fallen in love with it over the last two years. And the last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is reading or listening to a podcast or learning about something that you enjoy learning about. Um, right now, I actually just committed to going through the Bible start to finish. So I literally just restarted. I've like read different stories and gone throughout it, but I've never read, read it front to back. So I'm on that journey right now. The thing I want you to remember here is 
like I said, there's no structure to your day. So you're not gonna be there and be like, oh, I have to read 20 pages or I have to journal two pages or whatever. Just do whatever you feel like doing that makes you feel good, that makes you feel relaxed, that makes you slow down. I would highly suggest trying to meditate even if you're not a meditator. Um, just try it for like three minutes and just sit there in silence and just go with your breath and calm down just feel good we all deserve to slow our lives down and enjoy each moment in life and have these days to ourselves okay if you're not doing that I highly 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 suggest it and it will be a game changer for you I look forward to these days so much and I wish I could do them more often but you know life is what it is and I typically get one of these days in every two to three weeks and so I would suggest that you do whatever will work for you and again I want to thank today's sponsor if you're looking for a nice backpack I mean look at this thing it has a pouch at the bottom these two on the side it has this zipper here that zipper there laptop pouch in the back a separator in here pockets in here It's in the back here. I mean, this thing, unreal. So, oh, and it has a USB freaking charger. It has a freaking charger. I've never had a laptop that has a charger built into it. So, I love this thing. And if all else fails and none of that works, grab yourself a one-way ticket, your trusty backpack, and get a one-way plane ticket. I love you guys so much, and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.